B minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. I'll be taking sightings on the proposed uh, landing sites or a pseudo landing site, uh, which has the proper lighting conditions. I'll also be taking navigation marks on control points on the far side of the moon, that area where we don't have a uh, good idea on the coordinates. At the same time that I'm doing the navigation, Bill, and I think he'll cover this, will be taking photography of certain areas. 10, 9, we have ignition sequence start. The engines are on. Four. Three, two, one. We have uh, several passes uh, scheduled for strip photography of the lunar surface in order to get a better idea of some of the portions of the moon which the orbiter uh, didn't cover too well. Uh, this will help us in, uh, in tying down a lunar grid for our uh, lunar landing missions and will uh, also assist us somewhat in, in uh, being able to determine the exact position of the spacecraft to see if the orbit was perturbed at all by any uh, uh, non-homogeneity in, uh, in the lunar surface. Uh, we'll also be doing uh, uh, photographs of the landing site for sites that are available depending on what day we go, uh, the ones that Jim is tracking on. And we'll be uh, doing some dark side photography with uh, some high-speed film. And uh, we have a roughly uh, 1,200 uh, exposures available to us, which we'll be using uh, uh, for targets of opportunity of various kinds. Zero. We have commit. We have, we have lift off. Lift off at 7.51 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have cleared the tower. Roger. Howdy here, Houston. Right and clear. 